it took a long time for some Chinaman to put his finger in the way and stop each picture for the tenth of a second so the brain can pick it up. When you just turn it, it the, the eye don't always pick up every picture, especially if you put a lot of them. They only use your hand and delay the picture. Mm -hmm. Then they put a piece of bamboo there, not the hand. So when you turn it, there was an interruption and the bird flew very well. Then a Frenchman saw that in a Chinese museum. He machined it out of brass, ball bearings, real nice, put more pictures in it. Edison bought that from the Frenchman. And Edison put it in a box that looked like a big pencil sharpener. See, you guys are, are young compared to me. When I was a kid, there was a crank on this box. And there was an eyepiece here that looked like this. And you put a nickel in the slot and you turn the crank. I don't know if you ever saw that. Mm -hmm. We call a Nickelodeon. You put a nickel in your turn and all the pictures went by in this position, not side position, because it's more efficient. And from that came the next move. The Chinese took paper and they made them. They cut this out with the Chinese scissors. This was cut out of paper. And it was called the dancing girl. This is how it looked. It was cut out of paper, laminated, glued together, and they painted it black. And they put that little statue on the table. This, this girl. And they put a screen behind her. Bamboo paper, oiled, so it's semi-transparent. And they put it about ten inches behind this girl. And they put a candle in front, about ten inches away. As the candle flickered, the girl danced. If I just took this pencil, put a candle here, and cast a shadow, the candle flicks, the shadow will move up and back. If you put three candles there, there was three dancing girls. Can you understand? Uh -huh. From one shadow. Uh -huh. Nobody ever sat down and invented a movie screen. Not possible. Human brain can't do that. It, everything starts with a little bit of something and gradually, over many years, becomes something. That's why man being brought up as a baby. A baby doesn't suck on a woman's tits only. It sucks wherever there's skin. When it sucks on a tit, it gets food, and it goes for the tit. If a man sees shallow water with bubbling sand, he tries to cross, and it's quicksand. He sinks. The other guy that watches that said, don't go in that water with the bubbling sand. There is no other way. When you climb a hill, if you step on a severe incline, you slip. If you look for a slight flat, you get up the hill. So all of us, when we climb a hill, may not even know we're doing this. We look for the flats, and that gets us up a hill. I'm going to draw a caveman <coughs> sitting in a cave. And this is a bad drawing of a caveman sitting in a cave. To get up that cave, he's got to step on the flats. Otherwise, he won't get on, he'll slip. After he lives there ten years, it gets to look like this. When he moves, he cuts out steps. But he doesn't know, hmm, i got to make steps to get up this cave. The brain doesn't work that way. That's what I mean by man can't think or reason. He he encounters a situation. In school they tell you that an animal has horns to defend itself. Like uh, in, in the old days there was one called a triceratops. It's a dinosaur with three horns. So as a kid I thought, gee, you know, that made sense. Like most of us do. 
But then I said, where are the horns on a rabbit? A rabbit can sure use horns, because it has nothing to defend itself with. It's just slow moving. Then I figured, gee, maybe, I don't know if you know much about a turtle, but a turtle, if it's on its back, it usually dies. The legs, it can't turn off. If a turtle were born with a long horn on the back like that, to say the purpose of that is so the turtle couldn't be put over on its back. Man projects his own values into everything. So they say we have eyes to see with. Now that makes sense to all normal people, which are completely fucked up. So whenever a scientist comes to my lab and says the purpose of eyes are to see, and I say, do you really believe that? He says, yeah. So I take him in a closet and close the door and say, see. He says, I can't see anything. Put the light on. So you have eyes and you see if there's light, but you don't have eyes to see with. They think you have ears to hear with. No, you have ears and you hear. Some animals' ears turn in different directions toward the sound. There is no purpose in life. That's a hard thing to accept. People, ego, think that Fresco is here to help make the world a better place. Well, that, that's pleasing to me, but I don't buy that shit. I know that, that nature has no purpose, meaning people think nature has a purpose. hurricane comes, it doesn't move over a bus full of nuns or around the church and then continue. It blows the church away and everything else. If you're born with a better brain than him, say the tissue is better quality, the neural processes are better built, if you live in Nazi Germany, you become a Nazi faster. Even if your brain is better, the brain has no mechanism for knowing that which is relevant or less relevant. So, if you can't hear too well, if you do this, make your ear a little bigger area, you can hear better. So in the old days, they took megaphones and they put it in the guy's ear, and it would look like a phone about a thick and on, the guy held it. And so, no person ever thinks of anything. Now, the same with aviation. A man saw a bird fly, and he, he made wings and ran, and he didn't get off the ground. And a lot of people died, I mean thousands of them, before the Wright brothers. You'd think the Wright brothers from their bicycle shop made an airplane now. There were guys in France that tried to fly. Fifty years, the Chinese, eight hundred years ago, had men carrying kites. They didn't really fly, but they were hanging on a big kites. You understand? All of that suggested the direction. You've seen these balloons that fly with people in it, a balloon and a basket with people in the basket? Okay. Here's where that came from. They used to take shirts, which they wash, and put them in the fireplace to kind of dry them, not above the fireplace. And the wet shirt would seal the pores and go up the chimney and go flying away. Mm -hmm. That's where they got the hot air balloon. The Arabs invented the battery before that. Here's how they invented it. If you put a battery or acid in the metal container, it rotted away. So they put it in clay, and it didn't rot away. So they used to sell the acid, and they put a, a unit that looked like a spoon in there. And they put another unit that looked like a spoon. This is accidental. And one spoon coated the other. It crossed the acid and plated the 